Hey friends, this is Eunice. Thank you for joining me today. Today I just want to talk about isolation because I think that this is something that a lot of us are facing right now, myself included. And so it's just something I've been processing with the Lord this past week especially. And so I just want to share a few scriptures and thoughts with you guys today about it. So first I want to share from Isaiah 55, 8, and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I think one thing I've been pondering is that this season of COVID-19 and people at home in quarantine and isolation is not a surprise to the Lord. And it's something that I fought in my head and in my heart and in my emotions. And I know that we've had so many dialogues about it and it's all over the news. And if you think about it, this is not a shock to the Lord. He knows. And so that is honestly a comforting thought. Like he has a plan uh, already mapped out for us in this time. And so that's a thought I've really been pondering because I feel like a lot of us are feeling very isolated. It's an unexpected time. I know for myself coming into 2021, um, I really just wanted all of this to be over and life to go back to normal. But if you haven't noticed, like it hasn't happened yet and we're entering into February. And so for me, it's been like, a, it's honestly been a roller coaster. It's been a challenge at times. And, you know, even as I do these videos, I will say like, I'm trying to encourage others, but along the, along the same path, I'm encouraging myself. I'm trying to strengthen myself in the Lord and listen to my own advice every day. And so I just want to encourage you with that thought because because honestly, I, you know, I'm processing all this along with you. And so it's not that as I share, it's something that I've arrived to, but these are just thoughts I feel like the Lord has been encouraging me with and helping me ponder and really meditate upon. And so I just want to share a scripture with you in Matthew 18. And this is verse 19 and 20. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. Now, this is a promise from the Lord, is that as we pray with each other, whether it's as a family or whether it's with friends, when there are two or three of us even, it doesn't have to be a large prayer meeting, just two or three of us, the Lord promises to be there in the midst. And it's just something I've been pondering because in this time of isolation, um, actually this past week, um, three different friends that I don't normally hear from reached out to me asking me for prayer. Now, why I haven't heard from them in a while is because I think in this time of isolation, you know, there are friends, for example, that I would see when I would be um, picking up my kids or dropping my kids off at school, but that doesn't happen anymore. And so I don't see them anymore. Or, um, you know, for a long time, we weren't attending church in person. And there were people that you would naturally see like in the hallways at church or at small group that week. And a lot of times you could catch up there. But I'm realizing a lot of those catch up times have been eliminated. And so we really, as people, have to be intentional about staying connected to friends. Now last week um, when these friends reached out to me for prayer, I was so surprised by the things that were happening in their family and I was I felt so blessed that they would write me and ask me to pray for them because I want to know what's happening in their life but those natural times of connection in the past years that we've had have like I said been eliminated in this time of just quarantining at home and trying to you know stay socially distanced and so I felt really um, happy that they felt connected enough to me to reach out and initiate. So that just kind of leads me to my next idea, which is 
you know, in marriage, um, one thing we always encourage in our premarital coaching is how your um, spouse cannot read your mind. <laughs> and so I hope that's not a newsflash for you all, but it's true. Like your, your spouse cannot read your mind. And so even though there are times that I wish Chris would know how I'm feeling or thinking, how can he actually know how I'm feeling or thinking unless I open my mouth and express that to him? And so just in the same way, our friends are busy. Like just in general, people in life are busy. They have their own families, they have their own work. And so people are busy. So just because a friend isn't necessarily reaching out to see how you're doing, I just wanna encourage you, if you feel isolated, reach out to a friend and ask them for prayer. Ask them for a phone call. Say, hey, do you have time for me to chat with you for 10, 15 minutes so we could catch up? You know, because even people that you naturally might see at work or something, you don't have that space anymore to see them. And so a lot of us are working at home and it takes great intention to think about, oh, that coworker that I would chit chat with, um, every day at the coffee machine for a couple minutes like that person you don't have that natural interaction with them as a friend so I just want to encourage you if you are feeling isolated to really reach out to a friend I know that I have um, a few dear friends that really I know that if I'm in a pinch and I'm really down that day I can text them and ask them for encouragement and prayer and I know that they will respond to me and I just want to encourage you to one be that kind of friend for someone else but two also remember that your friends can't read your mind and so if you are feeling down and discouraged I really encourage you to reach out to a friend and ask them for just some prayer and encouragement. Um, I know for myself, like when I do that or when someone does that toward me, I really try to make space and time for them because I believe, just like the scripture says, is that when two or three of us are agreeing on this earth for something, that the Lord is faithful to be there with us and so I love this scripture because I think that's true even in friendship let's say there's some some situation happening in your family and you reach out to a friend for prayer the Lord promises that as you guys come together in prayer that he will be there with you and he will be listening and so I think that's an amazing promise so going back to that first scripture that I shared is that our thoughts are not the same as the Lord thought, Lord's thoughts. You know, He has a plan and purpose for this time. Now, are there days that I struggle and want to butt against the Lord's plan in my life? Possibly, and yes. <laughs> There are days that I really struggle with that where I'm just like, Lord, we're still at home. Lord, nothing's changing, you know, and I'm having those kinds of discussions with him. But something that I love is that I can lean on his word and remember that his ways are not our ways. Like, praise God that his ways are not our ways because he has a greater plan and he has a greater purpose. So I also want to encourage you to be that kind of friend who points people back to the Lord's purpose in their life. I know that there's times when I'm discouraged and if I text certain friends of mine, they will just not only I know pray for me, but also really exhort me and encourage me and always point me back to the Lord. Like Eunice, I know the circumstance is not ideal or straight up it sucks, but I've seen the Lord's faithfulness in your life and I know he's gonna come through. And really it's those friends that I think right now in this time of isolation, we all need. And so I just wanna encourage you again, if you are feeling isolated, reach out to a friend. And truly to all of my listeners, I also want to say if you 
are thinking about it and you have no one else you can reach out to, feel free to email me and I will be praying for you. It would be my privilege to pray for you. Um, just because I feel like, especially in this time of some of us forced isolation, some of us really it's uh, more wise to be isolated in this time because of different reasons. I want to encourage you that even in our homes, when we are at home a lot, that we can still proactively find ways to connect to people and be encouraged and stay encouraged. So I just wanted to leave you with that thought and I really pray um, that this message reaches you and that your heart really is stirred to continue to gather with your friends even if it's just virtually and just be praying for one another. I hope that you are having an amazing week and that you encounter the Lord in a fresh new way this week. Bye-bye.